We have Ball Player out right now, which is yeah. amazing. Tell me a little bit about your inspiration with your music right now. It sounds like your kids and your family are a huge part of that. They, they are. I mean, without a doubt, you know, I, 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 I so, so much so that I come up with ideas and I go, ah, oh, another kid song, you know, or, or another family song. But that's, that's, that's where I live right now. And yeah. Ball Players is the same. I mean, you know, when we're not on the road or prior to being on the road, I, I lived at the ball field. I mean, when I came home from the road um, prior to my recent success, I met the family at the ball field every Sunday, mm -hmm. you know, I came home and, you know, I'm just trying to be the best dad I can on a daily basis, which means all I'm doing is failing every day and saying, I'm sorry. That That's that's yeah. all that means. I'm, I'm not like. I don't feel like I'm in, I'm improving that much. I think my kids would be grace, graceful and merciful and say that I am out of pity. But yeah, I'm just doing the best I can. And and ball player is somewhat of an apology, you know, to my mm -hmm. kids, basically saying, "Hey, I know that I know that I live vicariously through you. It, it's it's kind of hard not to do. I don't want to do it. I I know it's unhealthy, but I'm I'm." you know i'm a broken man you know i i i, I when, when you're into something when you succeed i feel it when you fail i feel it and i want to feel it for the right reasons you know and and so and then also ball player is a reminder just that's not all you are you know and i need to hear that you know i need to look in the mirror every day and go hey you're not just a songwriter. You're not, your worth is not whatever you write today. And you need to hear mm -hmm. it. Your, yeah. your worth is not what, however good of an interview you do. And so, mm -hmm. you know, this is just, this is something I, I think I need to say to my kids on a daily basis. And that's why me and my co-writers wrote it. It was four dads in a room just mm -hmm. reliving our glory days, but then also yeah. thinking, man, we could be better dads. And uh, what do we want to say to our, our sons and daughters? We gotta talk about Auto Trader. Yeah. Um, so tell me a little bit about this partnership. You're you're celebrating a very important day, National Dog Day, with them. Tell me all about it. We're 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 dog freaks. I mean, in in my house, you know, if you follow me at all um, on my socials, uh, it's either kids, my wife, or, or the dogs. You know, yeah. and my, my kids make fun of. Um, me and my wife, Lainey, they make fun of us because they say, you know, when we get older and they're out the house, we're just going to have 20 plus dog. We, we just love them so much. And oftentimes uh, they criticize us. They criticize us because our concern for the dogs may supersede our concern for them as far as our dog's comfort, where they're sleeping. Um, our dogs constantly go with us. They're on tour with us. Uh, they're mm -hmm. in the car with us. We live about an hour and a half of Na out of Nashville, so we're yeah. we're always going back and forth. And um, so yeah, I'm teaming up with Auto Trader to celebrate National Dog Day. That that makes total sense uh, yeah. for, for us and our family. And um, you know they've created an, an incredible playlist uh, to keep dogs comfortable. We we have yeah. a variety of dogs, and they're all different. Uh, some of them love the car and want to bounce mm -hmm. around too much and crawl on the dash and do things that are unsafe and then i have some that are just very anxious and scared yeah. um and so yeah this is this is a beautiful partnership i'm honored to be a part of it and uh happy to uh, to help people with auto traders celebrate their dogs yeah. I love that. I have a dog myself and she was my first baby before I had my babies and she oh, still, yeah. you know, sleeps in the bed with us and yeah. all of that. So I, I, I love this ASMR for dogs idea. I'd never yeah. heard of anything like this. So I'm excited to try it out with my own dog. Um, what is it like taking, you're in the midst of your tour right now, which is amazing. Yeah. You take your dogs, you take your six kids, you take Lainey with you. Take me through that. What is this tour bus like? It is absolutely jam packed. Um, this this past weekend, we actually had the in laws on the bus with us. Oh wow! So it was six kids, four dogs, two bus drivers, and my mother and father in law. I don't know how they survived, but you know we've got a we've got a pretty cool routine. Our life is very unique. I mean, we stay up much much later than the average family because I really don't start work till about nine, and okay, then. Yeah. We're usually eating after show dinner about 11.30ish, 
Um, wow. And we stay up very, very late. We play, you know, we get the dogs and the kids out in empty venues after the crowd's gone and we just run around and we get our energy out. And then we don't wake up till very late, but it's, it is complete chaos, but it really, really beats um, being out there alone because I've done yeah. it that way. And, mm -hmm. uh, you know, we couldn't afford to take everybody, you know, prior to, to, to some big songs. And so I'm going to yeah. do it like this as long as I can and then probably hang it up, you know, and do something else. I don't know. We'll see. But it, yeah. it's chaotic. Um, but there's always somebody to hug, you know, and there's always mm -hmm. a dog to pet and there's, you know, my wife is there. Like we're always, always there together. I mean, I can literally walk side stage between any song and give her a hug, you know, and that's just yeah. the best.